hello this is Pamela the Stampin Pink Rose where Stampin Ideas are always in bloom and this is a Wow Wednesday so uh, I promised the other day in my newsletter a technique something that I don't use a lot of and I should get out and use more is my washi tape so I didn't necessarily bring out the most current washi tape but there's plenty in the catalog for it and that's W A S H I washi tape so I've got some laying here. I've got my little box and I've got a bunch of washi tape in the box here. So we'll figure out what we're going to use on this in a minute. So I'm going to lay this over to the side. Let me show you what I've done. This one is a butterfly and it has the washi tape and I used a happy birthday one on that one. This one is another happy birthday and this is retired but I used it across there and then I used the tape and when I brought the tape up then to hide where the tape ends then I put just a piece of paper black paper across it so let's take a look at a couple of these this was an embossing folder so I'm going to show you what I did okay for the embossing folder one this is the embossing folder I used the stripes okay and I've already taken the liberty of running this through my big shot I think we're all familiar with doing that okay so I've got some stripe here and let's see if my black is in here you know what happened the other day I went and had this down went to put it back off on the shelf and when I make a guess I didn't get quite on the shelf complete and every bit of the washi tapes went running across my floor. Not what I wanted to hear. Stampin' Up, by the way, has gotten better where they've gotten a tab when we get the new ones in. And I should have fixed this so that it wouldn't curl in like it's doing. Okay. We have to try the wrong one. may have to pull another one if I can't get this going okay. got it okay so what you're gonna do well I did have it and what you're gonna do is you're gonna alternate it and I may have to get another one out and use a different color here we go got it going okay I'll lay that strip right there let's see if I've got a black in here I can use this one it's not a dotted won't matter got it going okay let's put that down and over we're gonna work with this is what we're gonna do so all we're gonna do is figure out and I'm gonna have to turn it this way to do it is all we're going to do is on the part that is raised the part that's raised we're going to take and now I know these are not my traditional scissors that I use guys my snips but these are a little sharper and I prefer using a sharper scissors when I'm cutting ribbon and cutting um, this stuff. When I'm cutting paper, I'll use my snips. And the reason I do that is because I think the paper has a tendency to dull the scissors a little bit. And if they dull the scissors, then they're, they're going to dull your ribbon. Okay. Okay. What did I do wrong here? Okay. I know what I did. Okay. I'm going to pull it off for a minute. Start with the solid first okay and well, I don't have my mat out here and that's what's going on and I got paper okay start with the solid cut now see everything's sticking told you I don't use washi tape as much as I should and Stampin Up has gorgeous washi tape so there we go 
and I'll do it again right down here and again and you can curl it underneath if you want and I'm going to snip it and I'm going to curl it right there and I'm going to do it again does everybody see now what I'm doing is I'm just doing I'm doing the solid first okay now I'm going to stop and I'm going to bring the black back over and I think the problem is this tape that I grabbed is a wider tape let me see if my other black is in there hang on it is see the difference in the tapes this is a narrower tape and that's really what you need for what you're doing here so let me see if I can get this tape going I always have the worst time seeing my tape and I should have been it back I'm going to play with this for just a second guys see if I can feel it I think I found it. There we go. Okay, see now this is doing better. See, because this is more narrow. So now you want the narrow strip. So when you're doing this, you're going to want a, a wider strip and a narrow strip. And I still would do the order that I'm doing. I would do your wide first on that. And then I would go back and do this one and I'm not going to do all of it but I'm going to let you see this is what you're going to do and curl it under I'll do one more for you and that's why I said up at the very top now I got it a little too high but the very top you'll want your white your uh, black paper to come through okay all right so now there's that one you get a feel of how you do that with washi tape trim it fold it under whichever your choice is and then you're going to have it looking like this it's not that complicated just getting your tape going is your biggest issue now let's look at the butterfly this time instead of me doing a butterfly I brought out a heart now I've got a pencil so what I'm going to do is I'm going to center it where I want it and I'm going to start marking finely with the pencil okay you have your outline of your heart then you're going to figure your configuration of what you want it and I'm going to start this for you and you're going to simply take right to the edge and cut and I did two strips on each side on this one Okay. Now lay that off and then here comes the other part and I can feel where it is if I can just get it going. Okay. Then the next part is and you want to make sure you're down over where your marks are. Here. And then I had a green in between that was in the center so again I'm bringing up then I'm bringing it over again another piece
just like that. Doesn't need to be even all the way across or anything. And then I'll bring this yellow back in. And this time, it's going to be uneven on each side. Okay. And then what you're going to do is take your paper. And I could, and there you go. And there's your washi tape. So it's simple enough. This one's a heart, and I popped it up, up on dimensionals. I stamped happy birthday down below it. And then now you have it. Now you notice I've got this one a little high, but that washi tape peels. So now I can peel it back and cut or turn it under. But you just want to hide your washi tape and just make sure you don't get it too high up. But there you go. So there's two ways to use your washi tape. One with your embossing folder. Another with one of your framelits. Uh, use your uh, butterfly. Use your heart. You decide what you're going to use. But that gives you an idea to dig out the washi tape that I have been neglecting on this. So, again, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose, with stamping ideas for you. I uh, hope this gives you an incentive to dig out your washi tape like I did the other day and do something a little bit different. I think we all get in a rut. So take care and have a great Wednesday. And thanks for joining me on this Wow Wednesday. Take care.